Now, see that what happens is that at times we come across such uh, incidental findings. Uh, the patient did not come to me with a complaint of uh, any urinary colic or renal colic. Rather, is, she has been referred for uh, uh, liver problem, liver disease. Whereas the liver is only, we can, the liver is fatty only. No other finding was seen. And you see that uh, what is seen is that there is dilation of all the calluses of the right kidney. All the calluses are dilated and the proximal ureter is dilated up to approximately 7.7. .7. Up to 7 is considered normal. And there are two calculi which are matted together make, and they give a total uh, posterior shape of approximately 14.6 millimeters. So this is the cause of uh, obstructive uropathy, uh, that of the right kidney, because uh, there is nothing significant in the uh, urinary bladder, pervis, and one small concretion, if you see, this is a small concretion is seen in the low for dilated calluses. And patient is absolutely pain free, you know, no pain. Patient does not have any pain at all. Now this is one calculus, this is the other, both are met together and they took both uh, give a dimension of an approximately, let's say 15 millimeters and uh, a dilated proximal ureter and proximal ureter is, can be traced beyond these calculi and this is, this is the area of dilated calluses, uh, sorry, dilated uh, proximal ureter, which is 8.1 in this region. And uh, further from here onwards, it's not possible to trace the uh, ureter by ultrasound. So uh, the kidney is preserved otherwise, there is no uh, parenchyma is normal. 44 medullary differentiation is intact. However, calluses are minimal to moderately dilated in all the uh, upper, mid, and uh, lower regions. With a small, tiny calculus, this one, tiny accretion rather seen in the upper and the lower pole calluses. And this is the one, this is the proximal ureter, and this is the one that is uh, giving posterior shadow is seen in the of a proximal ureter patient being painless. Thank you very much.